Left arm box in the Mac Mini. We have it uh, connected via Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt display. Now this, like I said, is a 4 gig model. Um, that's the specs there. Mac Mini late 2012. I'll cover the serial number because I know what you evil people would do. Concerns me a 4 gig RAM is the free available RAM just with a few open Safari, a downloader, and Cinebench is open. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and at the request of a couple of users and just so I know. And now I'm going to baseline this test now before and then after that RAM upgrade, but we'll not have anything to do with that. Now here's the test running. Yeah, as you can tell people, there's a lot of glare with Thunderbolt. Hello. But this is the uh, OpenGL test running first. That's Cinebench release uh, 11.5. This is on the late 2012 Mac Mini release with the i7. Uh, four cores, eight threads running at 2.3 gig. So this test will go through. You guys have seen these tests before. So you can see how that just ranked up. That's me, the orange one there. Let's see if I can get a little zoomed in on it there. Come on, iPhone 5 be the glare there we go that's me the orange one Intel graphics that's just the Intel 4000 because the late 2011 actually had the HD Radeon chip but these just use the Intel 4000 because the quad core can process it but as you can see the score is well as it should be for a, a chipset for graphics built into the motherboard so but there's your 21.62 frames per second. So we can now run the uh, CPU test. See how that pans out for us. And there's Cinebench doing its CPU testing there. Just basically loads up and renders. And this is uh, being shot in real time, not sped up or slowed down, neither. He's in the remote. And there's the uh, Retina, 15 inch. And uh, keyboard, trackpad. Man, my uh, Ethernet, you can see that it's plugged in. Thunderbolt sports that direct connect, and then you just have the simple streamline cable there for your mini. But that CPU test uh, has completed there. You can see there we got uh, 6.16 points there. And if you look how that ranked the i7 with that CPU. So above that would be like a server, AMD server, 12 core, which that's in, as it should be. And then three above, eight cores, 16 thread. Those are Intel Xeon servers. So uh, that would be a pretty good uh, performance, I would say. So uh, we'll continue making these. Please subscribe and uh, hope you liked.